Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some aloe vera gel at home. Super easy, very cheap. I got these aloe vera leaves from the store for $1.50 each. That's why I said this is super cheap. First, I'm going to start with some bowls because this is what I'm going to use to make my gel in. And with my aloe vera leaf, the most important thing to do is to wash it because we will be submerging it um, together, all of the pieces together in the water. You want to make sure that the outside of the aloe vera plant is clean. Then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to carve out the aloe vera plant. So aloe vera has poison, um, which you can see right here, the little yellow spots, that is actually poison. So if you ever get itchy from aloe vera, that's because it probably wasn't properly made, um, especially if it was made from home. You have to make sure that you wipe that off, wipe it really clean. But when we submerge it in water, that's the point. And the next step is to um, clean all of that poison off. So yeah, um, that's something that a lot of people don't know is that if you don't clean the plant off and if you just kind of cut it up and then rub it on your skin, that could cause you to break out. But before you use the gel in general, if you've never used aloe vera gel, test it on a light patch of your skin just to make sure you don't have allergic reaction. So I'm just going to cut up the rest of my leaves and carve them out. Now I'm going to cut my leaf into sections and it is so much gel in here. I just love it. It just looks so satisfying. Um, and I'm going to cut the leaf up into a bunch of little sections because it's going to make it easier to clean it. I'm then going to take those same sections and cut off one side of the leaf because when I soak it, I don't want the little jelly pieces just floating in the water that's going to have some of the poison in it. So I'm just going to leave one side of the skin on while I let these soak for about five minutes, really five minute max, because once it's in the water for a little bit, you can see that the gel is starting to loosen up, which is really good. And once that's done, once that is done soaking, this is what your water will look like. And this is the water that you want to throw out because it has that leftover poisonous residue in it. I'm going to then drain these pieces and I just like rinse them off a little bit uh, longer and then take a spoon, which is, I feel like this is the easiest method is to just take a spoon and just shave off that gel from the other um, side of the plant leaf. And this is how you get your little aloe vera jelly pieces. It's actually really quick. This is a really quick method to make aloe vera gel. And I feel like it's the safest because you know that everything was cleaned properly. Then I'm gonna take those jelly pieces and throw them into the blender. And I know that blending sometimes can leave a little bit of foam, but you can easily take that foam off. So in order to not have a lot of foam, I like to blend it on low just in different sections just to make sure I'm not building up any foam and this is what my gel looks like it's beautiful and you can see there is a little bit of foam but I easily just scrape that off with my spoon from the top layer I put it into a mason jar and this is what my gel looks like and I can use it on my hair on my skin and I'm all done Alrighty guys, and there you have it. This is my aloe vera gel. Just make sure that you store it in something that has a tight lid so that it's sealed. This is gonna be really good for my hair and it's also gonna be really good for my skin. The reason I wanted to make this at home is because I wanted to use it on my daughter's skin also and she's a baby so I was gonna buy uh, aloe vera gel that I was already pre-made even though 90% of 90 plus percent of the ingredients were just like aloe vera gel there was the other like three percent that wasn't and because my daughter is so little i didn't want to risk using any of those other chemicals on her skin so i was just like let me just make some aloe vera gel at home since i already know how and it is aloe vera season i'm posting this video during aloe vera season which is in late winter early spring so make sure that if you are going to make your own aloe vera it's best to get it while these aloe vera plants are blossoming Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to be a subscriber and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss another upload. 